What's going on, everybody? Free to Crash Jerry here on Xbox and on YouTube as Duck Mouth Daddy. And uh, I'm doing something a little different with my secret hideout locations here on GT5. Now, you guys see my, my first two and my first one and second one are close to like 10,000 views. I totally um, um, thankful for that. You guys, you guys totally rock for watching my videos. You guys are awesome. So, I want to do something a little different. Now, um, this version here, part three of the secret locations, is pretty much uh, stuff that. They're not really secret. They're there in the game. They're not. They're hidden if you don't really pay attention. If you just like drive by and shooting stuff and blowing shit up and doing missions, and you don't really take the time to go and explore GTA 5. Now this this, this video here is mainly for all of the noobs out there who like really like enjoy it, and now you guys fanatics out there who like make short films and utilize the whole map of GTA 5. This right here is perfect for you guys. And this locate spot here, I found. A friend of mine showed me this, and it's kind of crazy because this kind of resembles like a real location that I've been to um, up in the west side here in, in, in West Hollywood. And this apartment complex is so detailed, done by Rockstar. I thought it was really cool. I had to share with you guys. If you go to the right lighting, the right time at night, it looks really, really tight. Especially the pool. The pool is the sparkles off, and just you know, it's really cool. Like I said, it's a really cool like like spot that you never really pay attention to. You pop I drove by this location tons of times. I never knew it existed until I came inside with a friend of mine. And it's actually really, really cool. And then this location here too. Now this one here I happened just to stumble upon because I was running from the cops. Now a lot of you guys know about the big giant cave that's like further up on the coast. On this um, particular uh, side of the map. This one here I actually found by mistake and I want to share with you guys now, like I said it's not really like a secret secret location it's like something that you know just really don't see and it's just a little small cave out there that um, that comes in handy especially if you have like four stars all over the place and uh, choppers chasing you this cave here saved my life because the cops couldn't find me the choppers couldn't find me and I want to share with you guys because you guys might you know trip out and check it out especially if you like uh, GT5 explorers out there who want to see new things about the map we never really knew about the map and it's just you know it's something really special but it is kind of like a little special like hidden gem with within the game which i thought you know i would share with you guys because i think it's actually kind of cool and um it's it's like i said this cave is pretty neat it's, it's in the game it's just kind of weird how it's like it's just in the game like out of nowhere you, know, you get a little small cave compared to the big cave but the, the small cave did come in handy believe it or not so I want to share with you guys because that was loca uh, a cool location. Now this one he location here, um, a friend of mine showed me this. It's, it's the clock tower. Now I never really knew there was a clock tower there. I think I probably did when I did like the, the chopper races and the jet races. I never really paid attention to the building. And this clock is an actual working clock, believe it or not. The clock does move. I do stand here and you can see the hands on the clock. They move. So it's, a, it's an actual working clock in the game. Which is crazy because, you know, like I said, like little small details that you never really pay attention to until you smile, stop and smell the roses and then boom. A friend of mine showed me this. You can actually get into the clock tower. You get a really cool view of the whole city and it's actually really, really tight. And I'm going to show you guys how to get inside. Now, you, can, you can't get up here for any stairs. You have to take a chopper to land on top of it. And then you just climb the stairs to get into the clock tower. And look at this view. This view is like freaking amazing. It's just like... If you're a good sniper, you just come up here and boom, pick people off left and right. You have a really, really cool view of uh, this portion of the city. And like I said, it's, it's pretty tight to know the fact that the, the clock actually works and it goes corresponds with the actual phone. Now, this Easter egg here, a lot of people still don't know about, believe it or not. Now, I found this a long time ago. I never shared it, but I'm going to show it to you guys this, way, uh, this time. Now, this server dude here, or whatever you guys want to call him, uh, he actually exists in real life in Venice Beach. I kid you not. I've seen him there many times. He's been there for years. He's made, he makes, uh, I think, a thousand bucks a week. I kid you not. Now, when he's done with working in Venice, I had to, I had to punch him, okay? Cause he's like, ignoring me, he's like, staring at me. But it's kind of creepy, you know, some guy's st standing there, like a little sta still frame. And uh, he, when he's done with Venice Beach, at night, he goes to Thirsty Promenade, he makes more money. So he makes about a grand a week. A uh, little fun fact there for you guys out there. Now, this location here, I never knew about. A friend of mine showed me. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's like weird. And it's just um, another like little secret location. Not, not really secret, but it's kind of like, ooh, you know, that's kind of crazy. I never knew it existed. And I drove by this place many times also. You can get inside this little small room right here. Now, you can't just like jump in there. You got to like shoot it. Now, you have to shoot it all the way. I showed you guys here because 
I can just shoot it a couple of times, you're not gonna be able to get in. But if you shoot it uh, to make sure the glass is clear, like one of the other buildings I showed you guys in my one, uh, previous videos, you can jump inside. And this is a cool spot just to hide from people. People won't know where you're at. You just hide inside, and they probably think you're actually in the building itself. It's it's kind of like you know, like I said, it's not ooh ah, but it's like something really cool, a little different that uh, I never knew existed until somebody else showed me. Now this spot right here, you can actually get in. My friend took me in there one time, and uh, you can go to like under underground the whole map, and you pretty much just get lost. You're just like driving around forever, and I was like the poltergeist. You can go into the wall into like a whole new dimension. Uh, but I forget how to get inside, so I try to get in there by getting it in there. Now these two water machines and cook machines, um, when like my friend of mine showed me this location, I was able to get stuff from it, like drinks and stuff. But now I guess they fixed it or something because I couldn't get nothing out of there. But you know, it's still a cool location out there. I'll show you guys where it's at in the map, all these locations, and uh, just pretty neat. It's like a little secret hidden gem location out there. Now this location here, I never really paid attention to, I never knew it existed. Now I drove down this road tons of times, like oh, thousands of times. Races, just driving, doing missions, yada yada. And um, this little small location a friend of mine also showed me. And at, at the dirty daytime doesn't really look like nothing, but at night it looks really neat. It's like a little, you know, porta potties. It's, it's kind of crazy. The details that Rockstar put into this game, which I thought are really cool. One of the reasons why I bought this, bought this game is because of the whole details. And you can do a lot with, with this um, GTA 5. You can do stories. You can do uh, cheese parodies. You can do so much with the whole details. It's like Sims on crack, pretty much. And there's like another little hidden spot. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably pass this location as well. And um, this, like I said, this video is, is I did is for all you guys out there who are are new and people who didn't really pay attention and now you like people in GT5 who want to know more about the map and little um, hidden spots and this is actually a hidden spot because I never seen this thing and the game's been out for a year and a lot of these locations I never knew existed now I play this game constantly a lot I do a lot of races I, I do a lot of multiplayer I, I mean it's just non-stop and so I thought you know I make this video and show you guys this different secret um, hidden locations for all you guys out there who uh, love the different sites, love the different locations, just love to explore, and you guys can probably use it for your videos, you know. And um, I want to thank you guys very much for watching my videos. You guys totally rock. Um, like I said, my GTA 5 hidden location videos are, are close to 10,000 views here on YouTube. And uh, I thank you for all the support. And uh, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be doing real locations from GTA 5 since I am from Cali and I have worked and filmed in a lot of these uh, locations here on the game so i'm gonna be doing a video for that so look out for that you guys and uh, until then you guys um i totally appreciate all the love you guys been in and support for on twitch and youtube you guys totally rock and then i'm free to crash zero until next time peace out